there, folks, and welcome to another Workspace Wednesday. This week, we're going to be answering another question or a comment from our Progress Bar series. And that question is, is there a way to change the color of the progress bar? Well, the short answer is yes. There's lots of different ways to change the colors on your progress bar. And so we're going to show you the most basic way today. You can see right behind me there's one progress bar that's green and the other ones are our standard orange. And this is just kind of what we had it set at when we built the progress bar the first time. So we're going to use this same formula, the sparkline formula, uh, combined with the count if formula to change the color of our progress bar. And this is how we're going to do it. So we'll do it to the rest of them here. And that way you can see that uh, as our spark line is clicked or we can select different colors and maybe you want it to be green, maybe you want it to be blue, we're going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. We'll start with this first one right here. And so we've got our spark line formula and our count if already in there. Now up here in the function, we want to go uh, right behind this bar that's in quotes and we want to add a simple word, and that word is going to be color one, and we're gonna put that in quotes, and that'll give us the ability to change the color of our progress bar. So once we have that in there, we're gonna need a comma, and then this is gonna be the key. This is what's gonna tell our formula or function what color to make that progress bar. And how do we get that? Well, there's a few different ways. The first way we're gonna show you is that you could put your quotes in and say red. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, after I have the red in there is I'm gonna put a semicolon, I'm gonna hit enter and you'll see that that'll change to red. Now the way that I like to change my colors is to go up here to our fill color and select that and come down to custom and let's say that I want pink. So I come over here and move this over to pink and I click right there and then this little hex code right here, I'm gonna copy. And once I have that copied, I'm gonna cancel out of it and then I can go right back up here to our formula or a function and right where we put in the word red, I'm gonna go ahead and erase that and I'm gonna paste that hex code in there and then I'm gonna hit enter and you'll see that it'll change that exact same color. Now if we drag this all the way down, you'll see that they all change colors. So that's how you can change the color of your progress bar. Now you can also change the color based on how many steps are complete. And if you'd like to see that formula or that function, go ahead and leave a comment down below that this video helped you out. Uh, click the like button for our algorithm there and subscribe to the channel so you can get more free Workspace Wednesday tips. And let's just change it to one more color here. Let's see if we can find Lean Strategies color. Let's hit custom. We'll go over to red. We'll get a bright red. Copy our hex code. Hit our cancel button. We'll come right up here and we'll select this right there. Paste that in there, hit enter, and we see that it changes right there. So that's how you change the colors of your progress bar. Enjoy, and we'll see you next time right here on Lean Strategies International LLC, where you can find solutions that ignite your power.